This is a game called Envelope. This is the demo for it. Um, it's made by, I don't know if it's like a publishing house or like a company or something, or if it's by the, the, the developer or something, but I found it through the Puppet Combo uh, Twitter accounts. They make a lot of very interesting games of this style that I think you might recognize the moment that you see what this game is, the moment that I start the game, sorry. Um, so I'm curious to see how this is going, going to end up. Usually I don't like playing demos of like horror games of this type, Sometimes of certain horror games, it's nice, like say for um, Hollow Body, the one that we just played before this, because you get a sense of the mechanics and those ones are much longer. These ones, I always thought that they would be much more shorter. They're, they're very like set piece uh, experiences. And so to play it early in, in like any form typically feels like a spoiler. But this is me taking a chance to see what exactly this has to offer. I also really enjoy the fact that there's a car here. What? Sure. Part one, the night shift. Now, uh, this one apparently has a very interesting story. Um, so I'm curious how this, to see how it goes. Another, another day at work. She has a hope I can find another job soon. This job sucks. All right, it's 11.57. I better get, get in there. Even though this job sucks, I've never, I've never been late. Better keep it that way. Oh, Jesus Christ. And I think you recognize the style immediately, right? It's, 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 there's a series of games like this that have this sort of like low PS, PSX style graphics and this type of lighting and this kind of like, you know, strange, slow first person movement. It's, it's a very similar thing if you've seen it before in their, in their other titles, uh, one of which was about a serial killer in your home or in a place where you went to do an interview, hot dogs. That's the saddest hot dog I've ever seen in my life. Ah, oh, there you are. Two minutes early, I see. I would commend you for your punctuality, but you know you're not the only one who has things t to do. Speaking of which, your tasks are written on the wall in the back. Put in your cap and 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 get to work. In the words of football god Timothy Bra Bradantuhal, what? I didn't come this far only to be eaten by sheep. Is that a real person? There's no way that that's a real person. So for next time, try to find him five minutes early at least. You can do that, huh? Boss makes a dollar, I make a dime. Why don't you pay me more, huh? It reminds me of that one Quora post. There's a Quora post that was like, oh, I really like the way that my workers work. Workers work, but I wish that their, uh, was it, dedication to the job didn't didn't end when the workday ended. Is there a way that I can get them to stay longer? And the first reply was, I want you to print this out, coat it in olive oil, and shove it up your ass. Restock solder, clean floor, throw old newspaper, take, take a trash, clean table. How can a game like this make you think about the world? I don't really know. But I heard that this game is like very, very... Like it makes you think, is what what the description was. And so I'm kind of curious what that means, because... I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. Restock solder, clean floor. All right, okay. Throw out newspaper, clean out trash. We'll do soda face. What the fuck? Oh, here we go. Pick up mop to clean the floor. Oh no! Did I get like a job simulator game? Oh no! This is kind of like the it's it's funny playing demos because it's really roll of the of the dice, right? You never really know what you're going to get. Um, you could get something that's like a complete masterpiece. I hear someone coming in. I don't hear someone coming in. Hey. Want uh, one hot dog? Take care of the customer first. What? No, I. I you 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 would like these horror D makes? That's a good term for it. Yeah, like a D make. Yeah, similar in like concept. My name is Truck Driver Johnson. You may know me from my channel name, Truck Driver Johnson. If you don't, that's fine. You are the most. This is the most and the least egotistical YouTuber I've ever seen in my life. I'm out here in the road. Anyway, I'd like this chocolate bar, please. Pick up the money. Add money to register. Cool. Thanks, truck driver Johnson. Appreciate what you do for all of us out there on the roads. Driving that truck and heading on out. And where the hell are you moving? That's my car. I'll have to clean outside, right? I always see people like sweeping the like streets, and I, 
and I wonder why they do. Because to me, the boundary of like what is my responsibility stops the moment that my front door is reached. I'm like, why would you clean the city streets? Leave that for like Batman or something. I don't know. Okay, put it back. Now we're gonna do uh, throw old news, old newspaper. Throw old newspaper. What? I don't like this. Not in the sense of like it's bad, but like I'm like terrified. What the hell was that? No. Yo. The man moves erratically. He seems to be completely inside his own mind. He mumbles something unintelligible. Low poly analog, you, you I think is the correct term. You just love PS1 era graphics. Yeah, that's. I really enjoy PS1 era graphics too, yeah. There's something of, like unsettling about it. I guess because of like how little detail you, you can get and the lighting. Specifically, I like the way the lighting always interacts with, with like things. It's hard to make out details within the shadows, specifically. Uh, where's the trash can? Oh fuck! Do not. Oh, I don't like that. The the noise underneath my like foot, the squelching. I also don't like that my mouse is mostly broken and it keeps freezing. Oh god. Listen, man, don't do anything weird, all right? I feel like you would just lock the door if you throw out the like, trash. No, I feel like this is dangerous. Let me take a shit. No. Maybe he wants hot dog. Another customer is coming in. Oh, yeah. I've actually been terrified of like, you know, these jobs before. Because this is always terrifying to me. You're like alone in the middle of nowhere. Dead of night. You, I, I feel like you can't trust anyone who like comes in. Oh, phew. Just had a patient die on my table. A bloody mess to say th at least. Give me a hot dog. Would you? Oh, and just for, for, for your information. What I can tell, you know, with my trained eye, there's a delinquent drug user right outside the gas station. I've deduced this due to the inv individual Solera being off color, slightly tinted towards a yellow color. This seems a prolonged use of alcohol. His pupils are also extremely large, which seems at methamphetamine use. Told you I was use. Uh, told you I was good. Anyways, just thought you you should know. Now where's the hot dog? Yeah. Thanks. Cool. Thanks for the money. Cool. I'll put this in in the register. What sort of games do I usually play? Uh, that's a good question. I don't even know. I don't even think chat knows. The usual chat memories can maybe answer better than better than the, the, I can. So far, really weird Japanese indie games, um, horror games. I mean, anything, really, anything that comes to mind that I might like. Could be anything. Could be anything. The 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 key is that I don't stick to one thing. I just kind of play whatever comes to mind. We're gonna do some D and D wildermyth soon. And, uh, we're gonna do some Dragon's Dogma soon. And, uh, hey, you okay? The man mumbles. The letter. This is what the guy said he would be, right? Right? The gas station all along the road, right? He was completely fixated on the table. He's looking at the Saints. We also play v uh, 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 visual novels. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to yell. Did I scare you? I'm sorry, okay? It's just that I like those Saints, so please leave them. I know you have a job to do, but the customer's always right, right? I'm sure you're a good guy, but just... Just leave the goddamn stains! Just leave, leave this guy alone. Jesus Christ. You're in the horror, so you will be here a, a bit. Well, uh, you, you have to wait. At least a month until the horror stuff. There's a bunch of horror games that we're planning. Slowly. What the fuck? That symbol wasn't here earlier. Yeah, it wasn't here earlier at all. What was that? Yo, man. What's good? Hey, 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 man. You okay? Hey, I know it's not probably supposed to be in here, but the stains helped me realize something. It's you! He's pointing at me? Fuck, what's he gonna do? I need to find some way to call the police, but I reach for my phone, he might attack. Better try to stay calm and look for an opportunity. Find the man who works at the station, and you shall find salvation. That's what the man told me. It has to be you. But forget all the nonsense, okay? 
I'll talk a salvation bullshit. I don't care, okay? Yo, stat. Hit a bag of goodies for me, okay? Methamphetamine to the roof. It is D-Meds. That's all I care about. Do you understand? Why are you looking at me? Like that. I don't like that look. Oh god, what do I do? Should I look down? If I reach my phone now, he's definitely going to attack. I have to say something. I got no problem with you, okay? You just hand over the letter to me, and then you can go and get salvation. No, you idiot. No one ever listens to me. I don't care about all that new age spiritualist crap. That's what was promised. Do you understand? Yeah, I'm sorry. Look, I didn't mean to offend you. Please, just, just give me the, the letter and you can go. I don't want to get hurt. The man seems to be satisfied with the response and takes out the letter from his back pocket and hands it over to you. There. Oh, my job is done. This was the easiest thing I've ever done for some dope. What an idiot that guy was. Anyway, I'm out of here. But if I see you again, I'll cut off your head for giving me that weird look early. Do you understand? Yeah, I, I, I understand. Sorry, sorry. What the fuck? Sir, do you want a hot dog? Fresh from the grill. Comes in two buns. Is it one bun or two bun? Because you cut the bun in half, right? So maybe it's just one bun. Uh, okay, uh, as always, find a nice corner where you see all exits before you do anything. You wish to open the env envelope? Yeah, sure. You open the envelope carefully. The letter reads as following. Dear Mr. MC, the letter has found its way it's safely into your hands. Based on the fact that you are reading these words at the very moment, it's, very, it's safe to say that it, it, it has. You see, this letter is for your eyes only. Right now, your head's probably filled with questions, so we would do you a courtesy by relieving you of this burden. You are very special, Mr. MC. You see, you have been selected. Selected for what? Another question. Well, here's the answer. You, you are to do a job, a very important job, one in which your success will decide the fates of those around you. The reading of this letter is the most important moment of your life, and you must choose carefully what, what to do. There is a man by the name of Mr. Sher Ramanesh. He must die, tonight, by your hands. Exactly how you execute this mission is up to you. As long as you get it done, we're happy. A man shall await for your arrival near the convenience store named Reba 50. He'll look at you with a loaded firearm and a lockpick. Just in case you need a dash of motivation, we know your girlfriend Amanda. She's very pretty. The way she spends her days in the park, looking at people walking by, simply angelic. She dies should you fail. So that, we won't take up more of your time. Look at the back of the letter for more information. On the back side of the letter, you find information about Mrs. Sher. There was also a map showing the path to his villa. Really, only thing that happened to my Amanda. I don't think I have any choice but to listen to these guys. Don't want anything to happen to my girlfriend. But I get in my car and find this, this weapons guy. That's a very... That's a very weird setup to this game. It's a very weird setup to this game. I'm curious where the story is gonna like go from here. But it definitely reminds me of, of these like other styles of like horror games. This is your moment under the moonlight. Amanda. What? Mm-hmm. Can you do it? I don't know. Can I? Or will you fail like most? What? A game by Scar Game Productions and Numi. I'm sorry, Mr. Sure. Tonight you die. This is a very interesting cutscene. It's a very strange cutscene. I can't tell if it's like a place where or something. So we may live. But it feels like it's like leading to that or something. I'm not sure. It's very odd. See, this is why I like gambling on like random demos and games I find on like Twitter and stuff like that. Because you never really know what you're gonna get, right? You never really know what kind of thing you're gonna find. Sometimes you just find something interesting and something just slightly weird, and you just want to try it out and see how how it goes. And that's the entire demo. Again, it's it's it, it's 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 very rem reminiscent, I think, of other games that have come from these studios, right? I, I, I think Puppet Combo has like a lot, and you you feel like it's very reminiscent of like other kinds of games. I'm curious to see how far this one goes. 
And I'm curious to see exactly what it means by making a choice and stuff. Like how much more complex it gets. The the way they describe the game makes it feel way more complex than it really is. At least within the demo itself. So I'm curious how the, how the entire thing will shape up in the full release. But it was fun selling hot dogs. And that's it for the envelope for the envelope demo. <laughs>